So in the process of tank testing, we're testing a lot of different aspects of the vehicle. One of the main ones is checking for ground faults as we lower the vehicle into the water. So the very first time we put the vehicle in, we'll lower it in one device or one connector at a time. We actually had a clean, perfect record, which is great. And after that, we start testing with the big systems. We prove out the inertial navigation system. It can do a lot of its positioning in the tank here. And we test out the control systems, the thrusters, the hydraulics, just basic functionality. We're just waiting for divers to put a snatch block on the bottom of the tank so that we can pull the vehicle down using the crane. At the same time, we lift up on this rope with a load cell on it, and therefore we can tell what the vehicle's buoyancy is fully loaded with our buoyancy modules. And then we'll take all of those buoyancy modules off and we'll do the test again. And that gives us that variable buoyancy, you know, what she is with nothing, what she is with full buoyancy. Therefore, we can start to trim what sort of loads we carry on the vehicle. So now we're down to debugging the smaller problems we've been having. One of these has been a persistent ground fault with the thruster valve pack. The first step is trying to diagnose where it comes from. We started by just unpowering and repowering the pack and measuring the resistance from its connector. After that stage, we disassembled the valve pack to be able to measure components inside. In the end, we weren't able to locate the fault using resistance measurements. When we buy disparate components from different manufacturers intended for slightly different applications and combine them, that's when we start to see problems like this. So finding and diagnosing these problems is all part of the integration process. We're just working through all the problems and all the functions that we would hopefully see offshore, so we eliminate any surprises. It's been a long journey. We've put in so much time and so much stress and just going through this on paper, through the computer, through the build process, to actually see it run right now and be successful, that's definitely been my favorite part. It's making it rewarding. You know, I'm just overawed by what they've done, you know, so proud's probably an understatement, you know, I just think that between Nick, Scott, Jason um, and the other engineers that we've got or had, uh, these guys have done an amazing job. So next for us is we'll put the vehicle back in its container and, and she'll start that long journey on our first science mission, which is off to Guam. So the start of Sebastian's career as a deep ocean explorer is about to begin. <laughs>